time for some forged kamali. Greetings guys, Jay Smith here. Down at Bray Gulf Range in Suffolk, and yes, you've clicked on it, you know what's coming. It's a JPX91 forged this time. Now, quick, let's go do the gumpy kind of tech, because for this year, the 91 forged, forged always used to be the 1025E steel, but with boron, stuff like that. Mizuno never shied away from adding a little something into the old 1025E idea. However, this year, they've gone completely the other way. They've gone chromoly, which has always been reserved for the hot metal and hot metal pro side of the range. So the cast, the kind of explosive idea. But it's now they've managed to forge it. So when it comes to the forging size, I'll, I'll, I'll try not necessarily to bore everybody, but Cromoly 4120 allows a club face to be 0.5 millimeters thinner than the previous one. So obviously when it comes to what they had before, when it comes to the bore on 1025E, having that Cromoly now has enabled them to make it slightly thinner for increased ball speeds, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, it still retains being forged. Sleeker, compact uh, profile, shorter blade length throughout, bevel, trailing edge, reduced offset. Yeah, it's getting more towards now um, the medium kind of player. Doesn't want to look at necessarily such a large club. Um, CNC milled with 6.4% wider back milled slot for increased offset. Okay, you can see what they're trying to do. It's still a JPX iron, so they're still trying to make it as forgiving as they possibly can do away from middle because we don't hit middle every time. Um, stability frame, toe bias again, they do the same thing in the hot melt, same thing on high metal pro and the same thing here they're pushing weight slightly out towards the perimeter of the toe because mapping amateurs misses there's obviously there's going to be unique ones that always want to have the heel but generally speaking there is a lot that hit it out the toe and these people will help or be helped by that kind of perimeter weighting and it's the same finish same anti-glare finish that kind of satiny brush satiny uh, finish looks really nice when i first got them out the wrappers they looked exceptionally well finished so anyway enough of that <laughs> let's now go outside in the outdoor teaching bay let's go see how they look behind a golf ball and more importantly how they feel Cromoly this year, not 1025E with a bit of boron. So it'll be interesting to see how I feel. Let's go outside there, then we'll come back in here, do some like proper premium golf ball testing to see how these now perform with a Cromoly forging rather than 1025E. So outside now, outside in the outdoor teaching bay. And it's time to see how this JPX 91 forge feels. Now, we've had a look at the tech, done that. So you'll be able to see necessary, this is different now to every iteration before. You've had chromoly that has been put into the hot metals and hot metal pros in the 919, etc. It's never gone into the forge before, so this is different. No more grain flow 1025E forging with a bit of boron and all that lot. This is, yeah, we've got a bit of chromoly in it. Okay, well, a bit more than a bit of chromoly in it. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it feels. This was out of all of them, this is the one that I was not concerned about. I don't wanna use the word concerned, but I was concerned about the feel. The, the 919 forged, even with the ball on, always felt very nice. I, I didn't want that kind of explosive hot metal feeling um, to get in the way of the, the forged idea. But they've got quad on the floor. We've got FSX 2020 mobile. So we can actually see some flights and stuff. So anyway, let's hit uh, a few. So down by the ball, um, the blade length is now, oh, it's the same as wait, the 919. The, the JPX series are always gonna have slightly longer blade lengths than say the MP range. I'm used to seeing the MP range, etc. So yeah, these blade lengths do look a bit longer, but you gotta understand, who is this marketed uh, for? The demographic is for someone who wants a, a nice feeling golf club, who's a little bit more kind of traditionally lofted. I mean, these are, 31 degree uh, seven irons. They're not 34 like the Tours and the MPs are. So anyway, let's um, give this a, a hit down by the ball. Yep, hardly any offset, slightly longer blade length. And the top line, do you know what? It's not that bad. I would say that's medium to thin, looking quite nice. Anyway, so let's go hit um, three. Can't complain about that too much. 
it's nice. It's, I, I was concerned about the feeling. I mean, how far offline was that one? 0.2, I thought that was going down a pipe. <laughs> that was going down there lovely. Um, the feeling's lovely. I mean, it's, it's really hard. I'd have to do, because I'm gonna do the comparisons between the 919 and the 921 the same day. So I can actually get sort of, you know, comparable data. So chance I might use this video for the 919 as well. You never know, depends on how much time I have. Anyway, so I'll do the 919 shot after this. It's very, very hard to, to it, it does feel different to the tour. So I've hit the tour, done that video before this one. So it's probably come out back to front when it comes to um, the way the videos are gonna come out. But it, it doesn't feel like a hot melt. Let's do another one, because I want to make sure, yeah. Oh, and I've pushed that. <laughs> Again, it feels, there is a bit more of a punchy feel. I don't necessarily, I mean, it's not like Grain Flow 4 2025E softness of lovely hits and stuff. It, there is a little bit of punch to it. Um, the loft, I think, is about one degree stronger than it is, was last year. But, and it'd be interesting to see how the numbers, were. From, from my point of view, they, they are seem to go up. Now, obviously Mizuno have changed the technology, they've added this and changed this and done that, and or they're trying to, all the time in the JPX line, within reason, apart from the tour, they're trying to help ball speed, they're trying to get it launching, carrying, peak height and everything. So it'd be interesting to see how they both perform. So, right, let's go do one final one. Let's probably not try and push this one. That's better. That's better. Um, just done the tour. It's different to the tour. It's not as soft as the tour, but again, it's not going to be the tour is grain through forged. Right, that's gonna go hit this loads of times. Not just once or twice or three, we've just done here. We're gonna go in my uh, custom fitness studio, hit a load of shots. You know me, like doing my large data sets. So let's go hit it, or with my Game of Vice Pro, premium golf ball, loads of times, and see how it works. Now, being honest, this is the one that intrigued me the most, the 921 Forged, because Mizuno have gone away from the classic 1025E with a bit of boron whacked in there for good measure in the hunt to go for the Cromoly, the Forged Cromoly. So I was a little bit dubious of how this is all going to work out. Wasn't entirely sure. However, so hit a load of shots, not just one, two, but we hit a load. But I'm going to put it in a little bit more of a um, headlined stuff because if not I just see a blur of data and people don't necessarily follow it so anyway let's get it going ball speed 122.2 miles an hour this is bear in mind this is a 31 degree 7 iron so it's different to the hot metal and hot metal pro they're both 29 degrees this is two degrees weaker so when it comes to you've got options for blending that's a completely different potentially conversation and video might do one uh, a bit later on that anyway so launching a 19.4 very Decent launch. Um, side angle 0 0.3 with a, with 85 RPM bait. It's just, I was baby drawer on average to target. It does, it's such a user friendly club. It feels really nice considering I was a little bit dubious of the Cromoly and after hitting it, does it feel like a an MP? No, it doesn't feel like an MP at all. Anyone who says it feels like an MP, again, it's subjective. I. I don't understand that at all. It, you can distinctly tell it's a JPX iron. Um, can you feel it's forged? Yeah, I can feel it's forged. It, to me, it's to me that the JPX forged is like a forging from another manufacturer. The classic thing you get, nothing feels like a Mizuno. Um, it's, it is very true with their MP20 range with the copper underlay, and it's a distinct, very soft feel. So I would say with the JPX um, 91 forged, it is a, just a similar forging that you would get in other manufacturers things. So it, does, it feels nice, um, just not quite as soft as a as an MP, but then you won't potentially get that. Uh, right, so backspin. This is why I was a bit surprised. Obviously this has got more loft, yet this wanted to spin at sort of 5,600, which is actually fractionally less than the Hot Metal and Hot Metal Pro, which is interesting. Um, Obviously, with that slight reduction in spin, it's peaking up at 37 yards. Now, 37 yards is no is not short in height at all. It's it is still quite high. 
Um, it's just obviously not the daddy height that you're gonna get when it comes to hot metal and hot metal pro. But again, you're looking at a, uh, a player that's looking at this kind of club is not looking potentially at the help that they would require, say, from a, um, a hot metal or a hot metal pro. So it's very much so built around the player and what they require from the club. Um, yeah, so descent angle is 48.7. That is such a such, anything over 45 degrees, 45 or over is what you're looking for absolute control into a green. You can get away with 40 to 45, depending on conditions, but if you're gonna go in at 45 or, or more when it comes to descent angle, that's gonna stop straight away. And carrying at 176 uh, yards, um, averaged out 175.6, but yeah, 176. It's doing exceptionally well. Um, it's not quite as high as hot metal. It's not quite as fast as the hot metal, but again, you're, you're talking a different face, but it feels so much nicer. And when it comes to this workability idea, I don't know when I, mean, I could curve both of them as much. It's just that I like the look, the aesthetics is a lot nicer when it comes to now that the forged. The feeling is nicer with the forged, so I can understand straight away why people would gravitate towards that and the performance is very, very good. But obviously it's not gonna be quite what these ones are designed to do because they're designed to fire. These ones are supposed to be a little bit more consistent off the face. So club head speed 93.4 and dynamic loft of 26. So I'm de-lofting by about sort of four or five degrees, which is normal for me, give or so a club. But 1.7 millimeters toe, 2.6 millimeters low. Again, I do like hitting slightly low on the face and I am always gravitating very fractionally toey. But again, with the perimeter weighting of the JPX range, it is all out towards the toe. So if you're someone who likes to hit out the toe occasionally, um, you're gonna be helped from that. So anyway, um, I will obviously be doing a different set of videos comparing like for like the old range to the new range and I'll do other ones as well. Comment below down there if you'd like to see me put, I mean, I've got ping behind me just because just it's just sitting behind me. Would you like me to put any of these up against any of the JPXs? Comment below down there. Okay, if you like the uh, video, button down there, click the like button, thumbs up. Um, also down, down, little red button down there, click it, subscribe if you can do. Next to it, bell icon. If you click that also, that will let you know next time I upload another video. So um, yeah, comment below, hope you're well, and we'll see you again soon.